my name's Rob Fenner. I'm a musician and a playwright. And recently I've adapted this. Helen Forrester's Tuppence to Cross the Mersey, which tours the UK from September the 6th. Now Helen and I go back a long way. We first met in 1992. Um, she'd heard one of my songs, which I'd written with my brother Al, uh, and it was based on a line from one of her books. She got to hear of it. We ended up performing it for her, and she used it when she was uh, promoting their books around the world. We became firm friends, and since then, we've done various adaptations of the show. But for me, the story begins not in Liverpool, but on the other side of the River Mersey. Which brings us to Hoylake and the family home of Helen Forrester. Now, we have to remember that Helen had not seen this house for seven years while she was stuck over in Liverpool, not having the tuppence to cross the Mersey. But when she did finally visit it in 1938, she said this about it. It looked exactly the same as I remembered it. Straight red tile path to the front door, carefully swept and washed. And as we can see, that red tile path still remains. So let's go inside and find out some more. So many thanks, Irene, for inviting us into your wonderful home. Okay, it's a fascinating place to be in. So tell me, when you bought this house 40 years ago, you say, yes. were you aware of its significance in the Helen Forrester story? No, not at that time. We knew straight away that it was the Huband family home and that Grandma was a nursery teacher and it was a little nursery school. And apart from that, nothing. People used to tell me that Helen Forrester lived in your road, but I didn't realise it was our house. Because of the name Huband? Because of the name Huband, yeah. I didn't realise that that was her real name. Now I've heard that you, got, that you used to get people peering through the window and stuff like that, and uh, on one occasion there was a gentleman outside with his family that was, and t tell people about that, because I think that's the, that was the moment, wasn't it, that you realised? Well, I was gardening, yeah. popped my head up, and three people were across the road taking photographs. And I looked, I, I was very inquisitive, and the fellow said, hope you don't mind taking photographs of your home, but my mother was born here. And his wife said, oh, you might have heard of her, it was Helen Forrester. And I said, oh yes, I have heard of her, but I hadn't read any of the books at that time. So I brought them in, and they had a little look around and told me a little of her story. And now what year was that? April 2015. It's weird because the show uh, had been running for quite a few years before that. You know, in different incarnations, it was a musical and then it, we, we adapted mm -hmm. it to a straight play. Of course, the gentleman in question was Robert Bartio, wasn't it? It was, yeah. yes, it was. It was Robert and we have kept in touch since then. And I have read all the books. Straight yeah, away, yeah. I had to read all the books. I think what people need to know is that the room that we're sitting in, the whole saga, it actually started in, in, um, in this room. This is the room that Helen's mother and father uh, were in, asking the grandmother to lend them even more money. Because yes. he, he invested heavily in stocks and shares. Mm -hmm. And uh, despite the fact that he had a sort of financial background, he wasn't very good at managing his own money. And uh, he was basically shown the door that Helen's mother and father were um, dismissed as worthless spendthrifts, as Helen put it. Um, and that was the last time she was in this house, even though she was born here and spent a good part of her she first ten years. She spent a lot of time, yeah. yes, her, all her summer holidays yeah. here. And she visit, the only time she visited it again was uh, 1938. I feel very privileged actually to have been entrusted with their most famous work, because I have an obligation to her readership that it's uh, an accurate portrayal mm. of, of what she would want to see herself on stage. Uh, provenance is everything, so anyone out there you're going to see Helen Forrester's tale, not Rob Fenner's, Helen Forrester's. Thank you very much for letting us come in and, and, uh, and talk about it. You know, it's, you're welcome. I, I always find it fascinating. Thank you. Well, I love this house and you're welcome any time. And you're coming to opening night at the floor. I certainly you? am. Good. We'll see you there. Thank you. So for all you Helen Forrester readers out there that want to see Tuppers Cross the Mersey come to life, then it begins here at the Floral Pavilion Theatre in New Brighton on September the 6th. We then visit 14 other theatres, Dates you'll find below by clicking the blue link.